What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to start doing, actually not today, technically tomorrow, I'm going to start doing The Collagen Diet by Dr. Josh Axe. And yes, it is not even Christmas time and I'm going to be doing a diet challenge. And that's because I weighed myself just two days ago, maybe it was, and I am at my highest weight, like since I've been 21. When I was 21, I had hit my highest weight. I was in the 180s. I think I was like 184. And then that's when I had like lost a bunch of weight. I went all the way down to like 142 and I had kept it off for a couple of years. And then the last couple of years, I have just been slowly gaining it back. And no matter what I do, I mean, that's why I'm gonna like try and get my thyroid checked this year. But I weighed myself the other day and I am 180.6. So this girl is is not allowed to eat all the Christmas cookies and I'm going to have to follow a diet plan in order for me to lose some weight over this holiday period. So this is a 28 day meal plan in most of this book. I just got this from my library, but the information in here goes to about like this is the information and then this is the meal plan and the recipes. So yeah, he does have a 28 day meal plan and I will be following this meal plan. So I'm actually I'm gonna start this tomorrow, but I'm actually gonna go to the grocery store right now And I already made my grocery list for the first like seven days The reason that I chose this one to do is because I obviously you guys know I was like tired of doing keto I don't think it worked for me and I have a video about that right here if you guys didn't know that about me um, But I do want to really work on getting more collagen in my diet I've noticed that my hair has been thinning recently and I do think that there is a like I think I have a thyroid problem but at the moment I can't go get checked but that is my new year's resolution for 2021 is to figure out if I do have I think I have hypothyroidism I guess is what I'm thinking and so any anyway, while I'm waiting for that I want to try and get more collagen in my diet and this is great because he doesn't just like take out all grains or dairy um it is gluten-free um but he does have you having like i think i saw quinoa in the meal plan some like goat kefir um but he's having you eat like all super nutritious collagen rich foods so lots of bone broth you have a lot of bone broth in like everything you're putting collagen in a lot of different things um, but like for instance, he even has a white bean and kale soup. So he's not taking out all grains or legumes, um, but you're also not just like eating those constantly. So I am very, very excited for this meal plan. So for instance, for day one, you start out with a cherry vanilla collagen smoothie and some organic coffee blended with coconut oil, butter, or, or ghee, like, you know, kind of like a bulletproof type of coffee. And then for lunch, you have a butternut bisque uh, made with bone broth and then like a side salad and then you can have golden tea which is also mixed with collagen and then for snack you can have like guacamole with raw veggies for dinner you're having salmon with broccoli or brussels sprouts with flax oil uh, baked potato and then like tea and he does also have dessert like on day two you can make a key lime pie for dessert and a lot of his desserts seem to be more like raw vegan type of desserts so with like dates cashews that type of thing um, so I am excited to make some of the desserts. I'm not gonna make all of them just because we're kind of deserted out already with like having you know like eating christmas cookies and stuff like that so i think i'm gonna make the key lime pie one but then i know there were some desserts for like a cashew truffle and like a blueberry muffin but i don't think i'm gonna make those i think i'm gonna skip those ones okay so that is pretty much all you need to know um you can follow along also with like photos and stuff i'm gonna try and take a daily photo of my meals i have like a facebook kind of like eat real food accountability group so i'll link that down below because i'm gonna be that's where I'm like posting meals and stuff like that, but I'm gonna go and get a grocery haul I do have meat that I got from butcher box Which is a meat delivery service where it's grass-fed and grass-finished and I do have a discount code down below for that And then I also am getting some organic produce from my misfits box Which I have a video about that if you're 
interested in that. Um, but I'm just gonna run to, I think I'm gonna go to Kroger. I need to get like some things, especially since we just moved some out of just normal things like cinnamon. I ran out of cinnamon, who runs out of cinnamon? But yeah, let's uh, go ahead, pack up and go to the store. Okay, back from the grocery store. I did just go to Kroger, so all this stuff is from Kroger and I got pretty much everything on the list. I just couldn't find some raw cashews. They were like out of them, I guess, because of the holidays. So I don't know if I'll be able to make that key lime pie thing, but I might see if I can just switch out with some nuts that I already have. And then I also couldn't find fermented sauerkraut. I don't have cabbage to make my own, um, so I don't know. I might have to go look and see if there is a store that I would have it around here. But if you guys didn't know, like we moved recently, so I'm in a smaller area, so I have less options for groceries. But I did pick up two things of grape tomatoes. Um, so that way these are for like side salads. I also got a cucumber that's for side salads as well. And then I did get some like just classic garden mixture because I do have some organic romaine I think coming from Misfits. So I'm gonna mix like the romaine with this because I do like iceberg lettuce and stuff. I'm not a big like leafy green type of person. And I got the two limes for the key lime pie because you need like the zest. So hopefully I can still make that. I did get some garlic and herb goat cheese which is also for some of the salads I think in his recipes. I got fresh raspberries and fresh blueberries because I think that, I forget what you eat these with, but I think you eat some fresh fruit, but then I also got frozen fruit for some of the collagen smoothies that I'm supposed to be making. I got organic dark sweet cherries, which I thought these were gonna be really expensive, but this was only like $2.99 for organic. And then I also got some organic strawberries and organic pineapple chunks. So these are all for smoothie type of things. Oh, I know what the fresh fruit was for. The fresh blueberries and raspberries are for when you have like a snack of cottage cheese. And I actually did find this at Kroger. This is the brand Good Culture and it's organic whole milk cottage cheese that's pasture raised. I'd never seen this brand before. I found this at Kroger, so I got this. I love like whole milk cottage cheese, so I'm hoping that that's delicious and I can eat it with some of the fresh fruit. Then I did get some fresh parsley, some fresh organic basil, because I think that these are just kind of like extra toppers for some of the meals, so you have that like fresh flavor. I did get some organic spinach. I think this is also for one of the smoothies, because there's like, I think every day pretty much you drink like a collagen smoothie with like fresh fruits and vegetables and then uh, like your bone broth or protein collagen powder. So really excited about that. I did get this Simply Almond Milk, which is actually one of my favorite almond milks when I do get almond milk because it hardly has any ingredients. It literally is just almond, water, natural flavors, and sea salt. So if you see this, you should pick up this brand and try it out. I just got the unsweetened original. I ran out of coconut oil, so I did get some refined organic coconut oil so I can cook with that. I also had ran out of pure vanilla extract and I think I need that for a couple of the smoothies. And then this technically wasn't on the list but I was running out of tea. So I did get some organic English breakfast black tea and I got some the mint tea blend and then I got this seasonal sam sampler from traditional, from traditional medis, medicinals. Why am I having such a hard time with this? But this has four Gypsy Cold Care, four Throat Coat, four Ethanasia Plus, and four Breathe Easy. I just thought this would be good to have during the like cold and winter season. And I don't think I've tried these before, so I'm interested to try those. Then I did get some bananas and I got two butternut squashes because I think that I have to make a butternut squash bisque. And then I think there's like a beef and butternut squash recipe also. Then I did get some eggs. I just got um, one regular egg like this because I still am baking some stuff for some friends. But then I did get these free range, whoops. I did get these free range pasture raised eggs. It says they were pasture raised on over eight acres, but then I think also one of my local friends is gonna leave me some eggs from her chickens, which would be really great. Then I did get four red peppers because I think I need those for some of the recipes. And I got some carrots so that way we could have something 
to like dip for guacamole. I had to pick up some honey, unfortunately. Like normally I get local raw honey from like the farmer's market, but I knew I was gonna need this in the next couple of days and I wasn't going to the farmer's market yet. So I did just pick this up from the store. It is raw and unfiltered and organic, but normally I do get local honey. So I will be picking that up as soon as I get to a place that has local honey again. I did get two avocados and a cauliflower. And then I got a bunch of zucchini. Um, so this is for us to eat, but also I'm baking a zucchini thing for one of my friends. And then Kroger had sweet potatoes for only 29 cents a pound. So this is all ripping, but I literally got so many sweet potatoes. So yeah, 29 cents a pound, that was a great deal. So we're gonna have a lot of sweet potatoes during like these next couple weeks. And then I did pick up a raw kombucha. This wasn't on like technically the plan, but I do love kombucha. So I just got the Trilogy one, which is raspberry and lemon juice and ginger, I think. I really like that one. I did get two Kerrygold butters, which is like the grass fed butter. So that way I could put it in our coffee if we're gonna have like bulletproof coffee. And then the last thing I picked up, this wasn't technically on the list, but I wanted to have it just in case I needed it for like easy salad. Salads. Um, this is the Tesame's organic balsamic vinaigrette. I just picked up this bottle. I actually don't think I've had this balsamic one before, but I do like the Tesame's dressings for other things. That is what week one's grocery haul looks like. Like I told you guys, I got my meat from Butcher Box, so that already is like in my fridge and freezer. So that's why you don't see any meat for this grocery haul. But this is pretty much everything, plus my Misfits produce box, which I think that might be coming in a day or two. All right guys, my Misfits box showed up. So I just wanted to show you the things that were in it because I'm gonna be using those for doing the collagen diet type of thing. If you don't know about Misfits, it's organic produce that gets delivered like right to your door. Like literally the mailman just dropped this off and it's actually really, really affordable and I have a discount code down below. But yeah, you'll have to check out my video if you wanna know more about it. So, I got two things of organic green beans. Looks like I have some avocados. We've got avocados. We've got some apples. Lots of apples actually, because I added on some Honeycrisp apples along with some other ones. Also have some organic romaine. This looks really, really nice. Wow, two big heads of that. We also have some green kale. So we got two bunches of those. Lots of green peppers or big ones of those. Ooh, we have a cabbage. So I might actually see if I can make some sauerkraut today, like get it ready. That would be really cool because I needed that. Then we have some oranges. I got this huge bag of all-purpose gluten-free flour because I need it to bake some things for some friends and stuff. I think this is tomatoes in here. Yep, we've got Roma tomatoes, a big bunch of organic celery, lots and lots and lots more apples. We have radishes, mini cucumbers, which I love, and these organic ones are always really expensive. We've got red beets, some russet potatoes, and some jalapenos. Okay, so this is all of the produce that I just got. I did add a couple things on, but most of this is in the $35 box, which is a fantastic deal. So we have a bunch of apples, green beans, the flour, romaine, kale, all of these peppers, cucumbers, oranges, cabbage, tomatoes in these boxes, celery, radishes, red beets, jalapenos, and potatoes and I cannot wait to get started. Okay guys, I think this is the last thing that I needed to start the collagen diet. I am starting it today, but you'll see like my full week one in a different video. Dr. Axe's bone broth protein and I got it in vanilla. Um, in some of the like recipes and stuff in the book, he does have like the turmeric one, the chocolate one, and the vanilla one, but I thought that it would be best for me to just start with vanilla and I can put it into all of those recipes that calls for this. 
um, but I'm very excited for this. I, I feel like I had this before. I'm pretty sure I had it before and it was really good. It wasn't too sweet, but you guys will definitely be watching me incorporate this into the weeks of doing the collagen diet so I can let you know more of my thoughts about this. This is a superfood protein powder made from real bone broth with collagen peptides and cofactors and it's 20 grams of protein per serving. So really excited to try this again and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed like seeing my grocery haul for week one and I hope you're really excited for the next video that will be coming out which is literally me eating all of my meals from week one so you'll get to see everything i eat all of the seven days so yeah stay tuned for that that's it i'm going to get ready for my walk and then i'm going to start the next vlog which is literally me eating we love that but i'll see you guys in the next video bye everyone